Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hillbilly Voodoo channel. We're working on Project Eeyore here, our extreme off-road wheelchair. Last time we were finished machining our new collar and flange and we were making or needing to make a spacer between there and there. And we poured ourselves some aluminum pancakes. Now, if you haven't seen the foundry video and the pouring of the pancakes, you might want to go back and watch that if you're interested in that kind of thing. Took a bunch of scrap recycled aluminum. Most of that stuff was roofing metal at one time and pieces of an old ladder that I backed over with the excavator by accident. Melted it all down. Made ourselves some big shiny aluminum pancakes. And now we're going to turn those down and make a spacer that will fit in between here and give us our spacing over the top so that we can put our brake rotor on there and mount everything where it needs to be. First thing we need to do is bore a hole in that big aluminum pancake with a hole saw so that we can mount it on the lathe. Water and dish soap, it flushes out the uh, grinding. Then it makes a frothy soup. And it works fairly quickly. Got a whole board in our big, huge slug of aluminum here. It's about as close to center as I can get it. Because I got in a big, huge, giant hurry when I was pouring this stuff so it wouldn't rain on it, I didn't level my forms very well, and we kind of got a uh, an oblong piece of thing here. So it's going to take a, a little bit of chewing at this to get it straight. We'll get it mounted up here on the lathe and start whacking away at it. Uh, as you can see, that piece of metal is super out of balance and super wobbly, so I won't be able to show you any of the machining on camera because my floor in here is vibrating like crazy, and as soon as I put you on the tripod, it's like somebody's got you in a paint shaker. So after I get this thing trimmed up and spinning a little bit less violently, then I'll bring you back and show you some of the results. Got this thing gnawed down here to a point where it's not violently shaking the fillings out of my head. It's pretty straight, pretty true, pretty balanced, so I hope I can set you up on a tripod here and show you some of my machining work. And that's what we're going to do. Looks like it's still going to be a little bit too vibrating in here, so I'm going to have to do most of my machining off camera, but I'll show you my homemade boring bar here. It is the tooth off of a saw blade, just a normal wood saw blade I cut off and it's got carbide on it right on the end there. And it's welded to the piece of a square stock chunk of steel. So if you uh, ever do any machining or mill work or stuff like that and you use the carbide insert tools well there's a an alternative to the insert tools that is 
free because the saw blade was too worn out to cut wood, but it's sharp enough now with a little bit of diamond honing to cut steel and we'll use that as our boring bar. Gonna see if we can do three things at once here and show you some of the boring action. Um, I'm holding the camera now, so hopefully it will soak up all the vibrations with my big blubbery body and we'll get some live action for you. See if we can do three things at once here without crashing the lathe and making a big mess of our part. piece flipped around here and I'm gonna machine a shoulder I've already started but figured I'd show you this machine a shoulder in here so our brake rotor can slide on and center it and then we can drill the holes through our aluminum spacer and yes see I do have some of those fancy carbide ones that you buy but I would prefer to use the ones that I make because when these break, I kind of feel bad about it. And when the ones that I make break, I'm just like, oh well, whatever. But anyways, I'll machine this shoulder in here and then I'll show you what I mean by when we put our brake rotor on, how we're going to drill out the holes and hopefully get it fairly straight on there. Now what I've done by creating that shoulder on there is made it so that I can put this rotor on the, this piece of metal. We tapped it into place. It's all in there nice and tight and it's all stuck together now. So now we can drill through these holes and get our bolt pattern into this piece of aluminum without things wiggling around and flopping around. And hopefully everything will be nice and lined up and yeah, that'll be good. It'll be more precision than anything that usually comes out of this shop. We got our holes all drilled through here and everything lines up pretty nice turned out fairly well now before we get all twitchy like a monkey on meth here we're gonna scribe some lines in here and mark this so that when i put it back together or after i take it apart and then i go to put it back together everything lines up because as precision as this might look I'm pretty sure that when time comes to reassemble everything, it's not going to be where it needs to be or it's not going to line up. So if I put a bunch of marks on here and make sure that everything is where it should be, then these bolts will just nicely drop back in the holes when I go to put it back together. So what are we going to do with this flange here? We don't have any holes drilled in here. The bolts won't go through. Well, we're going to bore this center hole out to that diameter we're going to drop that through there and then we're going to drill the holes through the spacer through the rotor and into that and hopefully everything will be all lined up yeah that's the plan got this thing bored out here now to the size that we need it we can slide that into there like that it's nice and tight and we can drill our holes through and everything will line up and hopefully it will be bolted in the place that we need it to be. I guess right now would be a good time to remind you that uh, subscribing to the Hillbilly Voodoo channel is 100% free. And I'm not talking like Facebook Marketplace where you click on the ad and get all disappointed kind of free. I'm talking like chewing gum under the table kind of free. If you're liking my content, give me a thumbs up. Do the subscribe thing and uh, Share it with your friends, make some comments. Now, if you weren't quite riding the train with our thought process here, this is what we're doing. Rim goes here. We have the flange that we built. We have the spacer. 
we have the rotor. Now we need to bore out that spacer so that it will go over this piece here. So we've already got one done, so it looks like that. So that's going to be the basis of how we stop this wheel so we can steer. Now we'll have to mount our brake caliper somewhere in this area here. And I won't bore you with the boring of that spacer. So we'll leave this video here. And like I mentioned before, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, make some comments. If you think this project is going in a direction that it might actually work. And until next time, use what you got to make what you want.